Good morning. This is Bisi Ademoywa again. I'm a medical oncologist and I practice in a large academic institution in the Midwest. And this is the fourth in my uh, video series talking about breast cancer, really with a view to educate the lay public. Uh, now again, none of these videos is designed to replace the patient-physician relationship. So if you have a new breast abnormality or a lump or any concern, please seek medical advice and um, treatment for that. So for this particular video, I thought I would address what to do if you notice a new breast abnormality, particularly a lump, which you know hadn't been there before. So the first thing I would say is, you know, if you're doing a breast self-examination or practicing your monthly breast self-awareness and you notice a new abnormality, so a lump, a skin change, swelling of the breast, or anything that is out of the normal for you, first of all, don't panic. Majority of the time, breast lumps in women are not cancers. Now, having said that, a new breast lump definitely needs to be checked out and cancer needs to be ruled out uh, before assuming that the lump is not malignant. Uh, there are many different uh, things that could cause breast lumps or breast abnormalities. There are infections, there are cysts, there are fibroadenomas, there are all sorts of lumps and bumps. And so particularly if you have busy breasts, that you know make lumps and bumps uh, change, particularly at the time of your cycle, there's no need for concern. However, every new abnormality or every new change certainly needs to be checked out. So the first thing that you should do is present to your medical doctor, either your general practitioner, your gynecologist, um, or whoever takes care of you, and uh, share your concern and let them examine you. And if they do find that there is uh, something concerning, uh, most of the time an um, imaging would be ordered, usually in the form of a mammogram. And so that mammogram will is a special x-ray technique that looks for abnormalities in the breasts. And during that mammogram, uh, it's very likely that you have an ultrasound as well to really uh, give a measurement and characterize the abnormality a little bit better. Once that is done, the radiologist will look at the images, um, describe the images, and then suggest the next step. If the characteristics of the lump look more like a benign fibroadenoma, which is uh, a benign breast lump, or commonly call, called a breast mouse, then usually a short follow-up interval, a mammogram would be suggested, say a mammogram in six months rather than one year. If it looks more concerning with uh, calcium deposits or a very irregular lump, then a biopsy will be suggested. And a biopsy basically is sticking a needle into that uh, abnormality or lump to take some cells out so that the pathologist can look under the microscope and give a diagnosis. And so if indeed you end up being diagnosed with breast cancer, um, most of the time, the first medical professional that you will be seeing is a breast surgeon who would look at the images, review the pathology with you, talk about what kind of breast cancer you have because uh, there are many different kinds of breast cancer, and we'll talk about um, options for you. And so again, the options for treatment really depend on the stage of cancer. If the cancer is small and localized, it's curable. Uh, if it is more advanced, then um, they may suggest that you have uh, scans of the rest of the body to make sure that the cancer has not spread to other parts of the body, in which case if it has, it's usually not curable, but still manageable. And so when you meet with a surgeon, uh, she or he will talk about different surgical options uh, for treatment. Uh, they might recommend a lumpectomy, uh, which essentially is the same thing as breast conservation, so the lump alone would be removed. Or they might think that you need a mastectomy, which is complete removal of the breast. The surgeon will also um, may also suggest 
meeting with a medical oncologist uh, who is a medical professional that gives systemic treatments for breast cancer. And so systemic treatments for breast cancer may come in the form of chemotherapy, special medications such as uh, antibodies or anti-estrogen uh, medications, particularly if the cancer is estrogen fed. And then at some point in time, you might also be meeting with a radiation oncologist who is a medical professional that directs the um, radiation that is given to cancers. And radiation, uh, in very simple terms, is when special X-ray beams are focused at the area of cancer to mop up cancer cells. And so these three medical professionals, the surgical oncologist, the medical oncologist and the radiation oncologist all work together to really maximize the chance of cure for any individual diagnosed with breast cancer. These uh, appointments or these initial appointments in the early days of a first diagnosis are very, very overwhelming. There's lots of information that is um, presented to uh, a new patient, particularly the stage of cancer, the type of breast cancer, the characteristics of the cancer, uh, the management um, uh, options, uh, the side effects of uh, treatment, what the outlook would be, um, the survivorship. It's, it's an extremely overwhelming time. So it's extremely critical to bring somebody else, a loved one or a friend to the appointment so that that person can take notes and um, uh, take notes for you so that you can go home and really mull over the information that is presented. And uh, one very important thing to do if you are diagnosed with breast cancer, particularly if you don't understand the information being presented to you by any of the medical professionals, is to seek a second opinion. 99% of the time, treating breast cancer is never an emergency except in a situation where patients have what we call inflammatory breast cancer, where the breast is hot, warm, red and swollen and looks like a very uh, angry infection. Most of the forms of breast cancer are not emergencies, so there's always time to get a second opinion to really understand your options and what, is, what would be the best treatment uh, path for you. And so just to sum up quickly, if you have a new lump or breast abnormality, it needs to be checked out, usually first with a mammogram, perhaps an ultrasound as well. A biopsy uh, may be recommended as well to give a diagnosis. And then most of the time, the first medical professional uh, one would be meeting with is a surgical oncologist or breast surgeon who would go over the options for you. And then the other professionals that would be involved in your care as well will be a medical oncologist who provides the systemic treatments and then also a radiation oncologist uh, may be consulted if you need um, radiation as well. And uh, just to sum up, if you are diagnosed with breast cancer, please bring another individual, a loved one, to your first appointments because there's a lot of information being passed across. And if you're not sure about um, your treatment options or you're not understanding your doctor, please seek a second opinion. Again, thank you for listening. This is Bisi Ademuiwa talking about breast cancer.